So I've gotten a lot of questions about using an SSD with the iPhone 11s. Um, first I did it with the iPhone 11. Now this is the 11 Pro Max. And what I want to do is show you that these can be used with this device and I'm going to show you how to use it. So stay tuned, check it out. Okay, so I've done this before in previous videos, um, but some people cannot get this to work. So first thing I want you to know is this is a Samsung T7 Touch. This particular device is um, EXFAT pre-formatted. So it works with the Mac OS, the Windows and Android systems. So it, it works with all of these systems. I've tried it, I've tested it, it just know it works. In order for you to connect this though to your iPhone, since iPhone is still using the lightning adapter, there are a couple of things that we're gonna have to have. First thing you need is the camera kit three. This is specifically by Apple. You cannot buy a third party. You have to get the Apple version. I've tried third parties. They don't work. So lightning cable right here, you get USB right here and you need a power adapter over on this side. That's the first thing you need. Second thing you're going to need is some type of power source. So I'm using a portable battery. Um, this is a PD charger. It's super fast, 20,000 milliamp. It's by the company Omars. I'll drop a link below so you can check that out for yourself. Um, then you're going to need the charging cable that comes with your iPhone which is lightning to USB type C. We'll use that for power and I'll show you in just a moment. And then you're gonna need a device that has USB to USB type C or something similar. So let's uh, get that right there. And now let's get started. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and get everything connected. So camera kit three, just gonna plug that in. Once we have that plugged in, you want to get a power source going to it. So I'm going to use the original Apple cable that came with the phone. I'm going to connect to my power supply, sit that off screen just so it's out of the way. And I'm going to plug this in just like so. So we do have power, green light, we're charging. Next thing we want to do is actually connect our SSD. Now there's no formatting, there's no nothing that I'm going to do. Uh, it's very notable that you cannot set up the password protection or the fingerprint scanner on this device, uh, on this phone. It has to be done on an Android device, a Windows device, or a Mac computer. So I'm plugging in the SSD to here, and then I'm going to plug in the SSD into the camera kit using the USB type A. So it lights up, letting us know that we do have power. And now we just wait a moment. I'm going into the file section. And as you can see right there, the T7 touch pops up. Once I put my fingerprint in there, it's going to read my fingerprint. It's going to pop back up. And now all of my files that are on this device can show up on here. So these are all my files that I have. Um, few videos. This is all my YouTube stuff. I can click on one and I can play it directly from here. As you can see, it is moving. It is working. So let's say that you have some pictures that you want to send over to your device. So I'm going to pick my pictures. There you go. I got just a few. Um, I want to send this one over. I'm going to just hit that. I'm going to scroll down. And once you scroll down, you're going to get a lot of different items. So you can save to files and there's my T7 touch. And I'm just going to save it over to the touch. Go back out, go here, go to the touch. And I should be able to scroll all the way down. And there's that picture right there. So we got pictures done. So the next thing I want to do is want to check to make sure that videos will go over. So I'm going to select the video and I want to put it on my phone and I want to copy it and going to my phone. There's the video. 
Now that video is fairly small. Uh, this one is about a gigabyte. I'm gonna select that one. I'm gonna put it on my phone. Now keep in mind this video is roughly a little bit over a gigabyte. So it may take a little longer. So we know the upload and download took about 30 seconds and 50 something seconds on the iPad. And this is transferring through lightning versus USB type C directly. So it may take a little longer. We're going to sit here and wait. And we're still spinning. Keep in mind this video is a little bit over a gigabyte. So I'm going to sit this down. There we go. So it went on my phone. So it didn't take long, a little bit over a minute, not too long. And, and that's pretty decent. So sending files back from the phone, the same gigabyte file, I'm going to send it back to the touch and I need to put it in a folder. I'm going to add a folder and just say new. And I'm going to put it in the new folder and copy it. Now keep in mind, this one was the one that was a little bit over a gigabyte. All right, so there we go. Uh, it, it didn't take long, not terribly long, about a minute and a half, but that went well. Um, so we see that we can transfer pictures, we can transfer videos back and forth from the SSD to the phone and from the phone to the SSD. So we got that under control. Um, so I am using 13.3. So uh, for, that's the latest 13.4 should be out very soon, but I am using 13.3 on my iPhone 11 Pro Max right here. I am using also the camera kit three Samsung T7 touch, which just came out and you got to have a power source because it will not connect without a power source. So you got to have those things, which seems a little bit cumbersome. I would like to be able to just plug this into my iPhone and have it work. Uh, hopefully when Apple gets on board with the USB type C connection, which they should be very soon, this will all be fixed and we'll be able to go directly from the SSD to the iPhone. But for now, you got to have all these pieces and look at that. You got to have all that stuff. So for now, you got to have all this stuff. So if you want to transfer directly from your SSD to your iPhone, this is this is your setup. It looks something like this. You got to have this stuff. Um, you got to have a power supply. You got to have the card and you got to have this connector right here. So hopefully this has been able to clear some things up. EXFAT is pre formatted for this particular device. Um, this is the one I'm using right now. This is my best one. This is the one that's most protected, has my fingerprint on it. Um, can't get any better than that. So it can be used. It can be taught. So even on Samsung's official website, if you scroll all the way down and you go to compatible devices, smartphone and tablet, there is no mention of iPhone in there. So you got Sony's, you got Xiaomi, you got Vivo, you got Oppo, you got LG, you got Huawei, HTC, of course the Samsung, but there's no mention of iPhone in there. So indeed I have broken the code. You can use this 
card with your iPhone and it works just fine. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. Until next time, be sure and give me that thumbs up. Keep all the comments coming. Please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.